The most annoying thing about Facebook lead forms is that you don't have immediate access to the information very easily. So in order to use them effectively, and I would say the only way to use them, is to create an automation to get that information into your business easily. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how to do it. And if you stay with me until the end, I'm gonna teach you how to copy and paste the exact automations that we use in our company. Not just to get that information quickly, but to increase the rate at which people book calls by eight times and decrease the no-shows and increase the quality of the leads. So welcome to the show. I'm Jay Feldman, founder of Otter Public Relations. We're an eight-figure PR firm rated number one on Clutch, G2, and Upsetting the entire country. My purpose in creating this video for you is not to sell you any courses or coaching. It's literally to help you grow your company as big as possible where you just have to hire a PR firm and I hope it's Otter PR. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to share my screen, show you the automation that we use to get that information quickly from Facebook lead forms into our company. And when I say into our company, I mean all over our company, not just our CRM, but our project management tool into automations that's going to book them more. You'll see it's really uh, intense. So brace yourself, take notes. And if you don't know how to work Zapier or automate your company, please go watch a 101 on automations and Zapier. Come back to this video because it is a little bit more advanced. This is for someone that understands automation, has set up successful Facebook lead form ads, and now is ready to connect them in the most powerful way possible. All right, welcome to Zapier. This is literally inside of our company Zapier with the actual Zap that we use to generate leads. So I'm gonna walk you through each individual step. You can copy and paste this as much as you want. And if you stay until the end, I'm gonna show you the exact way to get the link to this Zap so you can just literally import this into your company. All right, so you need a premium Zapier account. Sorry, you gotta pay for it, but if you wanna get leads through Facebook using the best way possible to generate those leads, well worth it. All right, so the trigger is going to be new lead in Facebook lead ads, nice and simple. Um, you're going to find your form, find your Facebook account. Uh, here's the page, here's the form. Don't need to explain too much there. Here's how the information is spit out. So the next thing that you're gonna need to do is create a form for Facebook lead ads. So create a Google Sheet. I uh, highly recommend using Google Sheets, it's just the easiest, with the header fields that you're going to be collecting in that lead format. Then you're going to connect Google Sheets and import all of those rows into your Google Sheet. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do each of the, these individual fields. Again, this is not a beginner ad. Uh, and just so you guys know, uh, we're not just doing this just to put this in here and never look at it, at it again. As you can see on the right here, scheduled Ryan Bass, scheduled Justin Caviar. This is our sales team. This is actually comparing who actually booked a call from who submitted a lead form so that we actually know the conversion rate, how many people are booking versus how many people are submitting the lead form. You might have 100 people submitting the lead form on your site and zero of them booking a call or taking any next steps with you. How are you gonna know if your ad is profitable if you don't know who's actually converting? So I'm gonna teach you in this video how to get this to populate automatically here so that you know your conversions and it's not gonna take you any additional time. Not a lot of people do this. This is very advanced stuff. All right, so populate that info into Google Sheets. Nice and simple, whatever your CRM is, you're gonna import that Facebook lead into your CRM this is now considered a warm lead since they opted in for this. They filled out that lead form. So you should start emailing them. Put them onto your master contact list. Start sending them emails. Uh, whatever CRM you're using, you should be tagging them. So the tags that we're using are Facebook lead, their monthly revenue, and pending booking. And I'm going to show you how this pending booking is really powerful for us and how we use it within our CRM. Here's a little preview. It looks like this. This is how we get them on, onto our calendars. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, then you're going to import their information from Facebook. Super, super simple. All right, let's go into the next step. I like to send them a personal email. So not one from our CRM that looks like a promotional newsletter. They're more likely to ignore that. They're less likely to ignore an email that comes from Gmail. So my recommendation to you, link your Gmail account and send them a nice personal email from Gmail. Uh, I like to format this with... Uh, a formatter. If you just type in HTML to email, there's going to be a lot of free formatters to use. That way you can really hyper customize what that's going to look like. Another expert hack that you can implement into your company. So if you see within this email, the Calendly link that we're sending to them 
has a little tag at the end, FBL. That stands for Facebook lead. That way we can track exactly how many people are booking calls using Facebook. There we go. So this is nine leads booked in the last week from Facebook. And all of that is calculated from that little Calendly tag that we use. So I like to use different Calendly booking links for every different lead acquisition tool that we have. So think about doing that in your own business. All right, let's jump back into this zap. Uh, then we're going to format their information. This is just to make it all look pretty when coming in. And this is really so that it populates correctly in our Asana, which is our project management tool. We use Asana to trigger notifications for our sales team to go follow up with this lead immediately. So they'll get a new task, new lead from Facebook, go pre-qualify. And then one of our BDRs, our business development representatives in the US, will call that person, say, hey, saw you just filled out a lead form, wanted some info, learn a little bit more about your company, get you on the phone. Uh, from there, it one, make sure it's a real person, make sure they're qualified to talk to our sales team, and it builds trust and rapport with our company. They're really on top of their stuff. They called me right away. They sound friendly. Awesome. Highly recommend you implement this if you have the resources to do it. Uh, create tasks for them and get your sales team to call these people in real time. Speed is of the essence. Get them to call as fast as possible. All right, so this is the, the first zap that we use. This is populates them into our company. Now they're in our CRM. Now there is a task for our sales team. They're in the Google sheet. Cool. We went, sent them an email to get them to book a call. Awesome. Now they have a link. Now, how do we actually confirm that they booked a call? Here's step number two, check Facebook form for leads. So if you're using Calendly to, to schedule calls, whatever you might be using, there will be a trigger. Uh, new call scheduled. Now you filter it to make sure that it meets your requirements. So it triggered by this new Calendly call. Continue if it contains FBF or FB form. So whatever event type you're looking for, you'll filter. And now it's going to look up that spreadsheet row. It's going to find the correct lead in here. And that's the lookup portion. And then it's going to update that spreadsheet row. So based on the information that I just found, it's going to pull the row and it's just going to add scheduled with whoever it's scheduled with. That way you now have that information. And I recommend you doing that for everything. No matter where you're generating leads, you should be checking to make sure that people who are, are actually booking. Same thing to go with sales. If you're booking leads from different types of lead sources, such as email outbound, phone outbound, uh, call an email, LinkedIn. It's really important that you know where these leads are coming from and who's buying. So for example, you might have a hundred leads from LinkedIn and 50 leads from Facebook and none of your LinkedIn leads bought, but five of your Facebook leads bought. This might be an indication that one lead quality is much better than the other. If you double down on that one lead source, now all of a sudden you see your, your bottom line 10 X. So make sure that you're keeping track of this stuff so you can come back to it later. All right. We use a tool called Plecto to actually track all these things, as you can see here. Very, very powerful tool that I recommend that you do. Uh, here's the metrics that we track. Boom, right there. So it's important to know your no-shows, your DQs, um, total calls, how many calls you're booking, and where they're coming from. All right, now, as I promised to show you, the tool that we use to make sure that all these people book a call, and this is that pending booking automation. So when they reach the, receive this tag, they're going to get a personalized text message from someone on our sales team. That's the send SMS. And then it's going to wait for two days. They already received an email prompting them to book a call, giving them the link. So we don't want to hit them with another automation right away. Active campaign is cool because you can do these one-to-one -one emails. This is a new feature uh, that they implemented. This looks like it's coming right from your Gmail. So this is an email reminder, another text reminder, wait, another text reminder, another email reminder, wait longer, and then another one. So you can see we have a lot of people in this pipeline. If they don't book a call after like the 10 days that this pipeline takes, uh, an interested tag is added and they enter into a new automation to get more information. Uh, so highly recommend that you do this, especially if you don't have a dedicated sales team to go out there and make sure that every lead books. Uh, if you do, to take this to the next step, uh, to spend a little bit more money, but get the most out of, out of your, your leads, have your junior sales associates follow up with every single lead and make them part of the pipeline to stay on top of them three, six, seven days in uh, and send them personalized contacts. That'll give them even a more chance of booking and of eventually purchasing. 
But if you don't, this is a really cheap, easy, and effective way to automate the lead process so that when they submit a lead form, you keep following up with them until they book a call. When they do book a call, they receive another tag that says call requested and they're taken out of this automation. Really important step here, or else they're gonna keep getting these reminders even after they book a call and that's not a good look. So when they book a call, they, sit, they get a tag call requested, they're immediately taken out so we don't, don't bother them anymore. All right, if you're interested in the links to these two zaps, please DM me on Instagram. I'm at Dr. J Feldman. The link is in the YouTube description here, wherever you're watching this. And just say, I want the zap. I want the zap and I will send you the zap. You do have to be subscribed and notified for this channel. And why wouldn't you be? If you subscribe for notifications, you have an edge over your competition. I give you more videos like this, all of my knowledge, so that you can grow your company as big as possible and hire Otter PR. So check out the other videos on generating leads for your business. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.